She texted her dead dad's number for years until he replied. She often found herself staring at her phone waiting for something she knew won't come. She missed him dearly and she's doing her best to cope with the grief she's feeling. She then had an unusual idea. She knew people would call her crazy but she did it anyway. She texted her deceased father's number every day, but to her shock she received a reply four years after her father's death. Chastity Patterson felt as though the weight of the world fell on her shoulders when she received the news. Her father passed away. Rivers of tears flowed through her eyes, but she knew her father doesn't want her to keep being sad. To deal with the grief, she would send messages to her dad's phone number and tell him about how her day went. She told him everything, from details during her uneventful everyday life to her bigger triumphs in life like her college graduation and when she beat cancer. Not once did she receive a reply during those four years, but just the thought of telling her father about everything brought her a warm feeling of comfort. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. Not having any expectations, Chastity would proceed to text her father once again the day before his fourth death anniversary. But to her surprise this time, she received a reply. It turns out, someone has actually been reading Chastity's messages these past four years, but it's not her dad. A man named Brad expressed his gratitude and admiration for Chastity's efforts for her deceased father. His reply was heartwarming and Chastity felt flattered and comforted. Hi, sweetheart. I'm not your father, but I've been getting all your messages for the past four years. I look forward to your morning messages and nightly updates. My name is Brad and I lost my daughter in a car wreck August 2014 and your messages kept me alive. When you text me, I know it's a message from God, the man said. Brad actually lost his daughter in a car crash and Chastity came at the perfect time. But why did it take so long for him to text Chastity back? Brad explained how he didn't want to break Chastity's heart and expectations. I'm sorry you lost someone so close to you, but I've listened to you over the years and I've watched you grow and go through more than anyone. I've wanted to text you back for years, but I didn't want to break your heart, Brad explained. It wasn't easy to lose someone dear to you and Chastity knows that feeling all too well. But it turns out she wasn't alone in her grief. Brad expressed his happiness and appreciation towards Chastity and even called her his guardian angel during a very difficult time in his life. You're an extraordinary woman and I wish my daughter would have become the woman you are. Thank you for your everyday updates. You remind me that there is a God and it wasn't his fault that my little girl's gone, Brad said. Brad's messages were heartfelt. This made Chastity's chest feel a bit lighter. Despite losing her dad in such an untimely manner, she was happy that she was able to spark joy in another person, even though it's in such an unconventional way. He gave me you, my little angel, and I knew this day was coming. Everything will be okay. You need to push yourself every day and shine the light God gave you. I'm sorry you have to go through this, but if it makes it any better, I'm very proud of you, Brad wrote. Chastity gasped as she read the message. She read it over and over again, making sure she wasn't just imagining things. It felt surreal to see her father's number appearing on her phone again. Then suddenly, Chastity had an urge to share this beautiful encounter, so she fumbled through her phone once more. She took screenshots of the messages. When she clicked on the familiar blue icon, a blank box came into her view. She knew what she had to do. Chastity started pouring out her emotions. I text my dad every day to let him know how my day goes for the past four years. Today was my sign that everything's okay and I can let him rest, Chastity typed on her phone. Smiling at the coincidence she just had, she then hit the share button. It took a couple of minutes until her phone buzzed again, and when she checked it, her heart jumped. The dining sound didn't stop. It was a notification after notification. Chastity didn't expect how much her post blew up. It captured the hearts of many people that her post gained 294,000 shares on Facebook. She got a lot of responses telling her how it touched their lives. However, there are some comments that made her eyebrows crease. A day after her post, many people knew for certain her real father was indeed alive. But how? Chastity typed another post right away to answer everyone's confusion. Jason was not my biological father, but blood could not make him any closer, she wrote. Chastity started explaining that the dad who passed away and she had been sending messages for the past years was Jason Liggins, not her biological father. But for Chastity, it doesn't make any difference, and her reason warmed everyone's hearts. Chastity recalled when she encountered Jason on the ice skating park. It was the weekend and the ice skating rink was packed with kids. Since she was the smallest one, Chastity felt overwhelmed. She kept stumbling on her blades and met few accidents on the ice floor. She can't even skate with other kids. She felt dejected. Chastity went to the corner of the wall and sat down. Little did she know someone was looking out for her. 
Jason thought it was just a normal weekend shift. But as he watched the kids having fun on the rink, he spotted a small figure that was struggling on the ice alone. From then on, he found himself looking after her, worried that the little kid might hurt herself. But after a couple of tries in skating, the girl gave up. Jason walked over to her and offered her to hang out behind the snack bar. He worked at the snack bar and he just wanted to keep an eye out for the little girl. But this was just the start of their wonderful father-daughter relationship. He had no idea this small act of kindness would imprint on the little girl's life forever. After their encounter, Jason would pick her up every weekend to skate at the park. Chastity's parents were too busy working on different jobs so he often looked out for her. On her sixth grade, they went out of town and introduced Chastity to his friends as his daughter. And that very moment, Chastity saw him as her father figure. Then he became a greater part of her life. He never missed a school dance, prom, my games, and yes, he'd give me long talks about my mouth and attitude. Chastity wrote almost a lengthy amount of words, but she doesn't want to stop. I had to introduce my boyfriends to him if I was allowed to date, and he'd act like a normal dad and give us the long talk. She chuckled and kept typing. There were still plenty of good memories she had to share. Chastity realized how she became so dependent on him, just like any daughter with her father. The time they spent together, the moments they cried and shared laughter. She knew that Jason loved her dearly and she loved him back. Chastity felt tears welling up in her eyes as she wrote the last sentences. So yes, Jason was my father, but he was a role model for many kids in our town. However, she cannot forget the message she received. Was it really by chance? I've never been on the uh, level of that spiritual to think that um, people in the afterlife could reach out. But um, after going through so much that I've been through in the past four years and overcoming so much, you just can't really say, oh, that's just a coincidence. The odds to have Jason's old phone number to fall into someone who lost a daughter is a work of fate. But Chastity wanted to believe that it was her father Jason's doing. She felt a weight lift off her chest because she knew that he was still looking out for her, not from the snack bar, but from heaven this time. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.